Okay, everybody, here we go. So they all came out yesterday. Uh, this time I'm letting them all have it. And um, I'm done with this. I'm done with this. Um, the things that were said yesterday were so outrageous that I, I can't even believe what I'm hearing out here. I can't even believe what I'm hearing out here. These people are not men of God. These people are serving Satan. And uh, everybody needs to know about this. The worst one out of all of these people is Daniel Adams. He's got the ego. I, 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 don't, I don't even know what. He's got the ego of Lucifer. He is Lucifer. Literally talking about me having something bad happen to me. This is the second time this idiot, demon, Satan follower has said this to me, that something bad was going to happen to me because I went up against those people's anointing. I, I want to tell you what this idiot actually said here because once again, numbnuts here gave them all away. He gave them all away. He literally says in here, you know, sometimes you can tell that both people are anointed but one will attack the other, saying that I attack them, saying that I attack them. No, I have said consistently out here that Jesus said in the Bible that only the Holy Spirit can cast out a demon. I've been saying this without end out here, that only the Holy Spirit can cast out a demon. That is the Holy Spirit casting out a demon. It doesn't mean these people are following Christ. In fact, I am also anointed. I am also anointed. They have never acknowledged my anointing. They have been constantly for the last year calling me a witch, a demon, Jezebel. This is what they have been saying to the Holy Spirit. See, because there is no person here anymore. They have been saying this directly to God. So who, in fact, is going to have something bad happen to them? It certainly will not be me. Daniel Adams is the worst. He is the absolute worst. He's not even human. He's a subhuman demon to actually tell someone that something bad is going to happen to them not once but twice and since all of these other demon slayers are in his uh, lay in bed with demons club they're all going in the same way you see Every single one of them has been out here attacking me, calling me a witch, a demon, and Jezebel, including that fake bishop, including that fake prophetess and her fake apostle husband. From the, from the stages of God's house, no, no, no one ever acknowledged my anointing here. And I never demanded it because in fact, as I said last night, I actually dummied down for these idiots for an entire year. I actually dummied down for these idiots so that their egos wouldn't get hurt. And what did they do? They still attacked me because I corrected Signorelli and said the third eye was real and it was dangerous and meditation stopped visual flashbacks. I have been brutally attacked since that time. And also, what, what has happened? I have been out here proclaiming from the rooftops the gospel of Jesus Christ, yet they're still calling me a demon, a witch, and a Jezebel. The Bible clearly says, no one can say that Jesus is Lord unless they come from the Spirit of God. 
Yet they're all still calling me a demon, a witch, and a Jezebel. That fake apostle literally called me a witch and a Jezebel just yesterday. And we're going to see right after he put out that video, Daniel Adams put out a video. It says, Jezebel wants to kill her. Okay? Then, that, then last night, Isaiah comes out with his video standing on his soapbox. And he brought out a little puppy because now he needs props to keep your attention. The gospel of the Lord is not enough. Now he needs props. Okay? Because people are starting to see what a narc he is. What does he say now? Everybody should be out proclaiming the good news. Well, this, this demon, Isaiah, was out here for a year telling everybody not to listen to me. Because I didn't know what I was talking about. That deliverance was Jesus' ministry. Deliverance was Jesus' ministry. He lied to all of you out here for this entire time. No, deliverance was not Jesus' ministry. And I have said this right from the beginning. Deliverance was a part of Jesus' ministry. So was healing. Jesus gave his apostle the, the command to go out and spread the good news. That was his great commission. That was his great commission. And he never said, get people in mass numbers and spread the demons around evenly. No. He said, as you encounter these demons, cast them out. As you encounter the sick, heal them. That's what he said. It's not what any of these people have done. So let's hear what uh, what this demon said last night. Let's hear what he said. Because all of a sudden now, it's all about the Great Commission. It's all about the Great Commission. And he also goes on in here to talk about if you have a ministry and you're putting other pastors and ministers down, you're actually making the devil excited for you. Well, you see, in fact, this is what these people have been doing to me for the past year. They are in bed with the devil. They are in bed with the devil. There is no man of God out here who was doing this for God. Who would ever know that someone was being so tormented by a demon. And instead of delivering them, they fight with them. And literally call them a demon and a witch and a Jezebel on the internet. They are the ones who are making the devil very, very happy. But they have been grieving the Holy Spirit. Like nobody's business. They have been grieving the Holy Spirit like nobody's business. This is why for the past year, the message has been repent or he will allow you to experience what's going to happen to you. So let's hear what this demon had to say. This first one is at 1918. What's your ministry? If your ministry is about de de slandering other Christians, the devil loves your ministry. Yeah, I'm talking to some of you YouTubers that watch all my content because you make videos about me, so you got to get on here and get free content. If you are divisive, if all your videos are divisive, calling people out, slandering people, this person's false. Every day there's a new false person in your eyes, and your whole community is about what you're against, not what you're for. The devil loves your ministry. If you have a ministry that speaks against laying hands on the sick, preaching the gospel, casting out demons, and living the Christian life, the devil loves your ministry. If your ministry is about getting people to not live holy and not share their faith and not live righteous, and you have a ministry that causes people to compromise, the devil loves your ministry. Friend, I'm telling you, we... 
I have been out here this whole time saying that there's very few Christians on this planet. People say they accept Jesus Christ and they go on living their sinful life as these people are doing. As these people are doing. They're still in the sleep. They still, uh, they're still out here group attacking people. What it is called in the worldly sense is gang stalking. Okay? So in fact, everything that he has just said, he has been doing for the last year, along with all of his buddy demon slayers. Okay? All of them have been doing it for the past year. There was another one I put on here, 4212. Here's what these animals like to do. Oh, they just love attacking people. It's all about psychological warfare for these animals. Don't help me. Call me a demon, a witch, and a Jezebel, knowing that I'm being tormented by a demon. But don't call them to task. Do not call them, them to task. Do not let anyone know what they're doing to you. Because then they flip the script and they become the victims. Easy and not take a lot of time. You have to start seeing this as the new goal of your life. Are you guys ready? This is the new goal of your life. Make disciples. The two phases of the Great Commission, evangelism and discipleship. And it takes time. Sharing Did he just faith, say the Great Commission? time compared to discipling somebody. Now, the basic definition of discipleship is teaching someone to be a good follower of Jesus. Jesus says, teach them to obey everything I've commanded of you. So everything I told you, teach them that. Living holy, healing the sick, casting out demons, preaching the gospel, feeding people, turning the other cheek, blessing those that curse you, serving people, all of it. Tell people about that. Teach them to do that. Which they are not doing. They will only do it if it glorifies them. Okay. Do you know how many times that I have had to humble myself and go to the Lord and beg the Holy Spirit to please help me forgive these people? <laughs> these people are not men of God. These people are demons. Do you know how many times I have had to go? I go, I forgive them. I do the work to forgive them and they attack me again. I've got to get and go back and forgive them again. I can see their sleep. I can see their demonic activities and the thrill they get out of tormenting me. What does the demons do? They love to torment you. This is what these people do. They love to torment you while they put on the face of being men of God to all of the people out in the public. This is what Jesus called the hypocrites, the Pharisees. So what, if, what are they doing? You will hear this in Daniel Adams. This guy is demonically possessed. Daniel Adams is demonically possessed. This guy is bad news. I've said this right from the beginning. He is the lowest form of life there is. He has literally called me a narc, which I said they were going to do. When you expose these narcs, what's the first things they do? They call you a narc. So he called me a narc, said that... Um, the idiot, this is the second time he has exposed what all of these people were doing. He says, you can see that both people are anointed, but one will attack the other. Well, in fact, it's been all of them attacking me. I've only been showing you all what they've been doing to me. That's all I've been doing. And I've been reading Bible verses saying how wrong it is. That's what I've been doing. So, in fact, Daniel Adams has exposed every single one of these people again. Daniel Adams is the one making the exposed videos. Okay? All I've been doing was showing you what they have been doing to me. With their own videos, in their own words. And all I ever say is, I can't believe what I'm seeing out here. None of this is of God. None of this is of God. We're about to hear what this demon, Daniel Adams, has to say. If you're a financial advisor or insurance agent, I have just one question for you. Do CPAs help you win? First one is at 930. 
I get a stomach ache even looking at this guy. I get a somatic reaction even looking at this guy. Make this note, because this is what happens sometimes. They're trying to say that there's many different anointings. No. Even though that I'm sitting here right now, I can still feel the connection around the world. So just thank you guys. I'll go ahead and tell you also, go ahead and like and share in Duluth, Georgia for the first annual Forerunner Conference. We're on the same place. These anointings, it sounds like I'm talking about different ones, but I'm talking about anointing with many different flows. Oh, that's a good one right there. Any, It's open to anybody. I advise you to register for the whole day. Um, evening sessions are going to be open to the uh, public, obviously, but why would you not do the whole day? We've even opened... Yes, yeah, go go to go to, go to that forerunner conference so you so can pay your you seventy five bucks. Okay, so we're talking about the empowering anointing for what was the freely given to these people. Anointing the dangers of the empowering anointing. Just to refresh you guys, I did talk about the mystery of the empowering anointing today. We're going to talk about the dangers, and yes, I'm saying the danger. There is dangers of the empowering anointing. We can sometimes misuse the anointing, believe it or not, that God has given us. Which now, all of them have sometimes done. Sometimes people have stronger prophetic flows. Sometimes people have greater authorities. Um, they they have different different services on their life. You have some who have five. I want you to pay very close attention to what he's saying right here. Because I have been out here saying this for the last year. I have read 1 Corinthians 12, I don't know how many times, to say that. There's, there's many different gifts. It, it all comes from one spirit. There's many different pathways to how, how people are, are being used for God to, to show the glory of God, whether it's in ministry, evangelism, deliverance, healing, whatever it is, pastoring, but it's all for the same God. Okay? I have been saying this this entire time. I want you to listen very, very closely to what this animal is saying. Five full mantles on their life. It says, I've given some to be apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers. They proceed from the same anointing. Um, so th so you see what I'm saying? There's just there's so much to this thing. So there's many gifts, many calls, many things. You can read this in 1 Corinthians 12 and Ephesians 4, 11 and Romans 12 to under have an understanding of where these things come from. Amen? All right. So let's get into this. Let's talk about the dangers of the empowering anointing. And I, I will. I don't have everything on the screen that I'll talk about because I'm going to I'm going to give some revelation as I go from the Bible. Just speaking to you. We're now going to go to twenty nine thirty four. Given can go straight to your head if you're not careful and it'll cause you to fall fall. People can become prideful in this. We know in Proverbs 16, 18, it says pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall, right? So that type of power, if mishandled, you know, you can start thinking something about yourself. You can be like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm that dude or I'm that, I'm that woman. I'm, I'm, I'm hit. I'm the, the thing of the hour. I'm different, right? I'm different. And this is exactly what he says because this is what he thinks. He's all that. He is the highly anointed one because what he said was he is equal with prophet T.B. Joshua because he made a video, the same thing that uh, T.B. Joshua did, writing on the board and the anointing was there. Um, it had nothing to do with him. It had nothing to do with him. He holds himself up in the same place as prophet T.B. Joshua. He also says that, well, everywhere I go, it does seem like uh, signs and wonders do follow me. This is what he said, his own words. I'm not making anything up here. So, and, and that when you start to feel that way, okay, and look, I'm going to tell you something. Sometimes you know, you know that you know that you know that you're carrying something amazing, right? But you have to remain humble. You have to stay low. Look who's talking. Great, there's a saying, with great power comes great responsibility. With great power, ooh, I even got it better. You guys can put this in the chat. With great power comes great humility. Mm -mm -mm. And you better use it, all right? So if God has given you great power, great authority, great anointing, great empowering anointing on your life, that's the lower you need to go, the more humble you need to be. You go lower and lower. You don't go higher and higher because that's what happened to Satan. 
is he got a great position in heaven. Lucifer got this awesome position in heaven, misused it, went to his head. So much so, he thought he could usurp the power of the creator of the universe and fell smack dab onto his head, straight out of heaven. So, we don't want to be like, we don't want to be like Lucifer, right? So Maybe he doesn't want to be like Lucifer, but he is exactly like Lucifer. Because with Daniel Adams, what happened was, I came out on the internet and I made a video saying, Hey, you guys, I just found this guy called Daniel Adams. And I'm really, I'm casting out the bigger demons watching his deliverances. The very same day or the next day is when he was in Las Vegas and called me a witch from the stage of that church. And this is when this, uh, this, this forerunners conference was first getting set up. So it was only these demon slayers that he had that was going to the forerunners conference at that time. So it was exactly the same night or a day or two after I came out and said, Hey, you guys, I just found this guy, Daniel Adams, and I'm watching his deliverance, and the bigger demons are, are uh, being cast out. And um, he, he did that at the church in Las Vegas, called me a witch from the stage of the church. I did nothing to this man. I did nothing to him. He attacked me for no reason. Every single one of these pastors has attacked me for no reason. And now they're out here crying victim because they're caught. That's why. Because people are starting to see who they really are. So now they're crying victim. You can't cry victim when you're the perp. Know how to manage the anointing. That's why character is so important. The, 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 the truth is this. Character will sustain you. That's why character. So now he's the third one of these animals to talk about my character. Okay. My character is impeccable. My character is impeccable. I have literally dealt with saving people's lives my entire adult life. Not, not getting money from people and, and, and puffing up my ego and thinking I'm some kind of celebrity. I was in the trenches my entire adult life. Saving people's lives. My character is impeccable. And it is for this reason. Because I am a truth teller. The Bible is the truth. The Holy Spirit is the truth. And Jesus is the truth. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And these people are opposed to the truth. Their demons don't like the truth. Which is why they are all attacking me. My character is impeccable. These people, these people's character are the ones that are in question. Because they have been abusing me for a year now covertly. Because they did not want anyone to know what they were doing. And now that they're caught. They want to point the finger at me like good little narcs. Too bad. Game's over. If you have godly character, if for the fruit of the Spirit is in your life, if you're willing to be molded, if you're willing to be broken, the character will stand, will, will hold you down. All right? The, the character will hold the anointing upon you. But as soon as your character breaks, I mean, that's, that's when pride, you know. If you read of the generals of old, right? If you read of the generals of old, you'll see some of them started off really good. When your character breaks, that is calling an anointed being a witch from the stage of a church. That is telling an anointed being that anyone who goes up against him, God will hurt. And he's actually going to say it again right now. This is the second time. Let's hear this animal. Let's hear what he says. I mean, they had crazy anointings. I mean, we read about them, right? They were persecuted, you name it. But eventually what happened is... It if you're a believer and you feel stuck in your nine to five job and you want to get out of it, yeah, let's step let's up make sure we make money on our, our videos here too. Like Any way we can get that green, huh? To come. Um, some of them literally went insane. Some of them fake kidnappings. I mean, it's crazy. Like the the, the, the responsibility that comes upon you and and the the weight of it. If it, if you don't nurture, like I said earlier, if you don't nurture the anointing within you if you don't have a relationship with god handling the empowering anointing is going to be 
really tough. If you desire an empowering anointing from Jesus, you have to be 100% sold out. I'm just going to tell you that straight up. You have to be 100% sold out to the gospel. You do. You do. Why are you going to, why, are, why are you going to ask for a empowering anointing on your life if you're not going to serve him wholeheartedly? That's crazy because you're going to end up hurting yourself. Because the you're going to end up hurting yourself, which is what he does constantly. You see, these people have all disgraced the name of Jesus Christ because none of their behaviors emulate Jesus Christ. Yet look at the words he says. He knows the words to say. He's a Bible thumper. He is a manipulator and he is a liar. Who's the father of lies? Yeah, that's who his daddy is. That's who his daddy is. And his daddy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. This is what they have all attempted to do to me. And they have not been successful. And they will not be successful. Why? Because the anointing is truly here. Yet they have yet to acknowledge the anointing here. Which is why they have all been exposed. By the Holy Spirit. Anointing stirs the good. And it stirs everything bad. So it stirs, stirs everything good, good and everything bad. So, you know, why would you want this? Why would you go in your prayer closet and ask for this and then and then not think you need to have a relationship with God? Good okay? question. And that's what's scary is people Very get scary. these things and go far off. Now, I'm going to tell you, some people have these empowering anointings, right? And, and they do good for a while. They do really good for a while, and then all of a sudden, you see it. You can almost you almost see the switch. Boom! You look at me like, oh, some some of you might know what I'm talking about. You go, oh, something something's something's changing this person. They still carry a power, but something in their character has switched, right? And then a few years later. So now, where did you hear that from? Because in my video the other day, what did I say? When I first was brought back to the Bible. I saw all of these demon slayers as very kind and loving people. What happened to these people? I don't know. What happened to these people? I don't know. So what is this phony repeating? What he heard me say. This is what he's repeating. This is all he can do because he has nothing else. He has nothing else. See, the Holy Spirit is flowing through his form. He has nothing to do with that. And he has nothing to contribute to anything else. So he will repeat what he hears out on the internet. He's literally repeating what I said in my video right now. They fall. They're gone. You don't hear from them anymore. They're totally gone. I, I, there are some people that that actually happened to. They're totally. You're like, man, where'd that preacher go? Where'd that man or woman of God go? We don't see him anymore. Well, what happened is is they 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 destroyed it, it, they destroyed them they, they destroyed them they destroyed themselves they destroyed they couldn't handle what was on them it went to their head they misused it and it, God just had to get them out the way does this mean that they're going to hell because they misused that anointing no nope, they need to that. repent it just this is what God has been telling them that, to do that, for a year that's done is passed on now uh, they they can still do their stuff but like they misuse what God has given them and now they just. They're going to ride it out, right? They can go serve and do stuff, but will that come back upon them? I'm not saying that God can't do it, okay? I'm not saying that. God can have mercy on any repentant heart. I'm an example of that. But at the same time, there's some people that they... He has never fully repented because his behaviors have never changed. Do you understand? That is the one thing that you look for are the change in behavior. The change in behavior. This is why it says in the Bible very plainly, Jesus said, you will know who are my disciples by the love that they show other people, which none of these pastors have. None of these pastors show. The other thing you hear is that when a person is truly saved and has accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, truly there will be a change in behavior. They will turn away from their sin. And they will become a new person in Christ. It is always the behavior that you're looking for. The change in. Not the words that they speak. Because Satan is a liar. And that is who these people's father is. They, they get so high. They get so high. And then they fall so hard. They never come back to normal. 
never. And I said that the other day. I said that the other day in my video. The higher you go, the harder you fall. This guy is repeating everything I've said. He's a phony. He's as phony as a $3 bill. Do And then, you know, they just got to ride out into the sunset. They've had their time. <clears throat> so, it's true. It's not It's not a fun thing. But these are things that we got to think about. So, if, if you guys are praying for an empowering anointing from God to be upon your life, something specific, use me, Lord. Here I am. Use me. Whatever you want to do. You're praying these type of prayers. Be prepared to handle it. And be prepared to have a relationship and be sold out. Not compromising, not willing compromise. You see what I'm saying? Not willing sin. Be willing to be like, okay, I'm sold out and have accountability around you. Have people that, that understand. Don't get around people that don't understand the empowering anointing upon your life either. They're not going to be able to help you. Why are you going to be around somebody that you've surpassed? And I'm not trying to say sound bad. You got to be around people that understand. You got to have people that you can call out and they understand your language and what you're talking about. See, what's, what's the deal is with narcs? They think they're so special. And they think that they cannot be around the lowly people. And we are commanded in the Bible to be around the low spirits. These are the people that we are commanded to help be around the low spirit. So what is this narc saying? You, got, you can't be around people who don't understand. You got to be around people who speak your language. So these narcs believe that they are so special. This is narcs across the board, whether they're in the spiritual spiritual community or they're in the financial community, whatever community. They believe they are so special that they can only be around other special people because everybody else is beneath them. And this is exactly what this fool is saying here. He doesn't understand how he gives himself away every time he opens that mouth of his. And he gives all of his buddies away too. If people haven't walked in what God has given you, or if they don't even walk close to it, how are they going to speak into it? You see what I'm saying? So make sure that you get around people, get under people, and be accountable to people that they can really... And the other aspect here is there is no accountability. There is not one mature spiritual being out of the bunch of them that has the gijones to stand up and say, hey, this is not right. This is not right, man. We really need to repent on what's going on here. Not one of them. Not one of them. Because they're all narcs. They're all narcs. None of them have truly surrendered to Jesus Christ. They're still of the world. And this is why all of this is happening. And I've showed you multiple times now. I said they have been gang stalking me. I've showed you multiple times now. When one puts one out, they all do. Okay? I haven't lied about anything here. I haven't built a ministry on calling people false prophets. No, when, when someone is a false prophet and you only point out what they're doing, they have shown the world through their own sin who their father is. You see, because sometimes we're just like orphans looking for any mommy or daddy we can find and we get around the wrong mom and daddy and then we wonder, like, why is this person mistreating us? Because they were never meant to handle what was on your life, okay? There's, per there's people. Paul was able to handle Timothy. Timothy was called Paul's son in the spirit, right? He says, my son Timothy, because Timothy was like him. He said, if I send Timothy to you, it's like sending me to you. He understood what was on his life. So we want to. you want to have people around you that understand what's on your life or people who have surpassed you people who are doing better than you i love to be surrounded around people that are doing better than me because that helps the anointing on my life increase it helps it helps me go from glory to glory and faith no see absolutely that is a lie because i have surpassed all of them and all they have done is attack me they're not open to learning they're not open to seeing anything they don't want to die to self because they are feeding their egos. They don't want to die to self. I have dummied down for the past year because as I was just speaking naturally, not in ego, not trying to say I'm all that in a bag of chips, just to help people wake up, they, were, they began attacking me because how dare I just come back to the Bible and think I have a right to speak about anything because the good old boys club did not give me permission to speak they didn't understand that I didn't need their permission for anything. 
I far surpass them in consciousness. Yet there is no acknowledgement of anointing here, only being called a witch, a demon, and a Jezebel. Disrespect. And no, they don't understand anything I say out here. Because they are in fact in the sleep. Yet I had never ever claimed the title. I had never ever claimed superiority before. Ever. And because I did not claim a title, that fake bishop was out there and Bob Larson was out there trying to say I had multiple personalities and I was a nobody who didn't know anything about myself because I was the nothing in the nothingness. Because all of these idiots are still comatose in the sleep. Yet, I was out here trying to explain to them only that they should not be attached to their titles. They didn't want to hear that because as the fake Apostle Pagani said, I'm an Apostle! I want to be called an Apostle! That's what he said. I'm not gonna, you're not going to be, be good any better hanging around people that are not going anywhere so make sure that if you've asked the lord for an empowering anointing that you get around this is why i laughed at these people when they believed that i needed to follow them that they were going to teach me something no that's not happening that's not happening because i far surpassed them and no it's, it's not in in my being to want to come out here and say hey idiot listen up listen up you can't teach me nothing. I wouldn't do that. This is why I dummy down. This is why I dummy down. And they still attacked me. They still attacked me. Around people that can help help you mold this thing on your life without any agenda, without an agenda to, to, to bring you down, without an ag any you know, agenda, just friendship, relationship, and they want you to be better. That's the type of people you want around you. That's the type of people you want around you, except this is not the type of people that these people are. Because this is, in fact, what I have been saying this past year. What is all this fighting about? What is all this name-calling about? What is all this attacking about? We're on the same side, or have you not noticed? No, anyone who they feel threatened by, they will attack. And because I was saying... That deliverance was not Jesus' ministry. Jesus commanded us to go out and preach the good news. Deliverance was part of his ministry. Healing was part of his ministry. That's not what he commanded people to do. As his primary ministry, which is the lie that Isaiah was out here telling people for God knows how long. It wasn't to go and preach the good news. It was to do deliverance. That's what he was telling people. Just to buck up against me. So what this idiot is saying right here, he's constantly, in this whole video, he's constantly repeating everything I have ever said out here because he's been stalking my page this whole time. He doesn't have two brain cells to rub together that he can come up with a thought on his own. Okay. Let's continue on, my friends, and see what is next. All right. People have used the anointing to gain fleshly things. Now, let's talk about this right here, because this is true. Look, if you've watched TV, if you've watched any TV, man, or if you've been around Christianity a while, you'll know people have used the empowering anointing on their life to go bling, bling, ching, ching, gimme, gimme, mean, you know what I'm saying? Gimme, gimme, gimme. Uh, yeah, that, that's true. like that's like their buddies, that fake prophetess and her husband who have their own private plane, the fake bishop who has his own private plane, his, uh, his movie business, his clothes business, his real estate business. You see, the ministry is just another business to these people. This is what I was saying out here. This is what I was saying. But these are the people that these people associate with. Why? Because they're mammon worshipers. They want that bling bling. And what you will hear him saying here, it's okay if you have that bling bling, as long as when you're wearing all that gold and stuff, you're not saying, hey, look at me, and you just wear it. Well, that is a twisting of the gospel to conform to the world, which is exactly what I said these people were doing. 
and it was to, it's for the it's not for the cause of helping the needy or helping the orphan or widows or helping people in the ministry or helping to even watch this helping to help your family or build a home or you know because I'm for that I'm for like if you're in ministry to be taken care of it says that it says that the church is to take care of the the apostles and the prophets and all that stuff where there's nothing wrong with that and and them to make a living off of that that is actually biblical if you look look, look in the book of acts i think it's around four or something like that or it's I, I could be wrong on the chapter it talks about the apostles served tables for a season and then they had to be given over to the word and ministry and stuff so that the church had to support them and the people had to support them there's nothing wrong with that there's nothing wrong with a minister getting a house or having a car something like it it's when you go like way out there in your flesh you're like play let's let's get a little bit more of this and a little bit more of that it's when it's it starts to get a little obnoxious and a little bit out there that's when the flesh is getting involved and that's when people start using the anointing to gain the fleshly things of the world you know and and that's when things get bad that's that's called mis misusing it okay misusing it i'm not talking about needs i'm not talking about these i'm talking about just un, the unnecessary stuff you see what i'm saying like like you, like what's the point of that? You see, so these are just it, it, people do it, man. Some people's minds shift; they go from a selfless mentality of help, 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 to they shift to this mentality of me, me, me. Right? Ooh, this is on a life. It's attracting. Well, he would know about that, wouldn't he? He would know about that. So would all of these people know about that? Money, because the empowered anointing will attract support. It Okay, this is we've already pretty much talked about this, but if someone improperly uses the empowering anointing, he can damage his own life. Here he goes. All right. If someone improperly uses the empowering anointing, he can damage his own life. And that's true because when you when you misuse the empowering anointing you know, when you use power for the wrong reasons, it, it gives you a, a bad reputation. Uh, people don't talk good about you. People start to see through you. You think it's because you're getting persecuted and all this stuff. But the truth is, is if you really do a heart check and um, you're not, if you're improperly using it, I mean, that that's because of what you're doing and what you've brought, you've brought this up on your life. You can't, you know, sometimes people. Here he is victim blaming, saying that I brought all of these attacks on my life. No, my heart is pure. My heart is pure. My heart is white as the driven snow. Why? Because there's no personhood here. I don't want anything from the world. I've been the one out here saying, I don't want name and fame. And I've been accused of being a nothing, a nobody in the nothingness. Or someone who doesn't know who I am. I've been accused of having multiple personalities. I've been accused of being a witch and a demon and a Jezebel. I've been accused of all these things because I renounce the world. Which is exactly what Jesus did. So now this, this fool is going to say that I have a persecutory thing on me. And let's just hear what this idiot says. People get a persecution complex and they know that they're doing something wrong, right? But it's, it's the persecution complex. All Everybody's always out to get me. People don't understand me, da 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 da. You know, you almost they almost become narcissistic in a way. You see what I'm saying? The narc calling so, the victim a narc. It, it's true. You, you're going to damage your own life if you misuse it. You're going to end up in a bad bad position and a, a a bad place. And while I'm talking about this, let me let me say this. I'm going to say this. I see sometimes anointed ministers attacking Here he goes. other anointed. Here he goes. Now he's going to out all of them. This is the second time he opens his mouth and he's going to he's going to out all of them for what they're doing. Now I want you to hear what he says here. To ministers, it's not, without a shadow of doubt, I know this one's anointed and that one's anointed. Guys, I see the one anointed minister that attacked the other anointed minister. Catch this. Some of you guys are going to know exactly what I'm talking about. The other anointed minister is still out there doing the work of the Lord. The other one is in persecution complex not even realizing they came against the anointing not even realizing they came against the anointing well let me tell you something here he says oh he knows both parties are anointed he has never acknowledged my anointing still calling me a witch and a demon and a jezebel 
to uh, be in uh, in his uh, his little uh, gang who's sleeping with the devil. I'm trying to keep my language clean here. Um, so one anointed person attacks another anointed person. Um, once again, not taking responsibility for their own actions. They were the ones who have attacked me. And what I have been doing was making their attacks public. That's all I've been doing. I have consistently said, I don't understand what's happening here. Why is this happening? I don't understand it. I literally came out and praised Daniel Adams when I found him. Was saying I was watching his videos. And then he called me a witch from the stage of a church. So who attacked who? That fake apostle had been calling me a witch and a demon and a Jezebel this whole year. Then all of a sudden God gave him a dream that he's going to go to hell. And he comes out with... You're not a witch, you're a prophet. And then he reneges on that. God gives him another dream. And then the attacks start all over again. Who attacked who? Who attacked what anointing? They have attacked my anointing. They, and because there's no personhood here anymore, they have literally attacked the Holy Spirit. They have literally attacked the Holy Spirit. You get what I'm saying? They came against the anointing on somebody else's life. When you touch God's anointed, even if you're anointed and you have an empowering anointing, you, you'll think, you think that you got the anointing. You think that you have the anointing, uh, the, the biggest anointing, the greatest anointing, and your anointing is the last anointing and all this stuff. And next, next thing you know, listen, next thing you know, you start to point at other people's empowering anointings and you end up in a, a bad place. You end up losing everything. You end up disappearing. You, you, you get what I'm saying? And, and the Lord will release you the moment you repent of putting your hand on another anointed vessel. Listen, dirtbag. Let me tell you something, dirtbag. I have said from the beginning, because Jesus said it in the Bible, only the Holy Spirit can cast out a demon. I have said that right from the beginning. You dirtbag's behavior of attacking an anointed being is not of Christ. You are the ones who have been attacking an anointed being. You are the ones who have now been exposed. The Lord has done exactly what you said to you. You see, you are only narcissistically projecting. That's all you're doing. Do I think that I, I am the all-powerful, have the last anointing? No, because as I said, I have literally dummied down this whole past year for you guys' ego. What have you done? As your father, Satan, has done. God has blessed you with an, an anointing, and you have withheld what was freely given to you to another anointed being who is in need of deliverance, who this demon has tried to kill seven times that you have known all about, who this demon has now attacked all my organs and now I may have cancer in my body and you sit there in your arrogant, self-righteous ego talking about how the Lord is going to bring me down? No, no, sweetheart. Every last one of you dirtbags are going to have to answer for what you've done to an anointed being. Be very clear about that, low life. Be very clear about that. Because I have never attacked you. I have merely shown the public what you were doing to me. Are we clear? I see you have a problem with the truth, Daniel. I see you have a problem with the truth. The way you like to uh, twist the truth is the same way that you all like to twist the gospel.
And what you don't like now is that people can see right through you. Because I have been able to see right through you right from the beginning. Demon. Are we clear? I will put these low life's videos in the description. Let's let's understand something very well out here, people. When you say that you are a disciple of Christ and you accept an anointing from the Lord and you have truly given up the world, you see these people have not given up the world, which is why they have no understanding of what I speak about, which is why they have done everything in their power to try to destroy me and they can't. Because the Holy Spirit is here. They will all have to answer for what they have done to an anointed being. And this fool, he gave them all away a second time. He gave them all away a second time. They have all known that I was anointed, which is why that fake apostle came out and said, finally, you're not a witch, you're a prophet. They have all known that I was an anointed being, and they were all out here attacking me. And they knew what they were doing. You see what happens, well, how I explain this to you is, when you truly get in oneness with the Lord, and you have transcended the world, the soul aspect of you merges with the spirit man aspect of you. And there is no more personhood, which is why I desire nothing from the world. Which is why these idiots, all they can do is attack me because they are of the world. And it's plainly evident to see that And they have known that I was anointed this whole time. And they have purposely attacked me. And it is in fact them who will have to answer for what they've done. With the anointing of the Holy Spirit. This idiot sleeper once again told on all of his buddies. That they all knew I was anointed. And uh, that fake apostle, he also told everybody too. They've done this on purpose. Because their egos got offended that I made them look stupid. See, this is what happens when you are truly anointed and in oneness with Jesus Christ. It's not about knowledge. Knowledge is for the ignorant. This is what you see this ignorant fool doing is reading from his PowerPoints. That is knowledge. I get my information straight from the cosmos, straight from the Holy Spirit, because I only have a divine mind here. There is no psychological mind here. There is not one thought that runs through this head of mine. Not one thought. I am in my divine mind. And there is massive envy by all of these people here. And what this fool just said, at the beginning of the video, I showed you, he said, there are many ways to serve God. And he cited 1 Corinthians 12, many gifts, many ways to serve God. And now at the end here, he says, when one anointed, anointed being attacks another anointed being, yet the ones that they attacked are out there doing the work of God. And the other one is having this persecution thing going on. You see, it's the, second, it's the second statement that he made that tells the truth. The first statement that he made about having many ways to serve the Lord, that was actually what I had said, which he just copied. That's all he knows how to do. The second statement he made is who he really is. Not taking any responsibility for what he has done, to grieve the Holy Spirit. Disgrace the name of Jesus Christ. But then to say, they're the ones out there doing the work. And uh, I'm, I'm here with a persecution complex. Uh, no, what I'm here with is truth. What I'm here with is truth. 
and they have been exposed as the abusers that they are, the mockers of Christ that they are. They not only are deceiving spirits, they're mocking spirits. And as I said, they're also lying spirits. Because this fool himself, he gives all the secrets away. Has videos on his page that demons got into people by laying hands on them. Which is why I will not go out and, and do any healing or any deliverance. Because I know, oh excuse me, I know this demon is here. And I do love people. I would not put people in more danger of getting more demons. These people don't care. Because this fool actually said his wife did deliver a demon out of him last week. I, I can see the demons in these people. I can see the demons in these people. They all have demons. As they're out here calling me a witch and a demon and Jezebel, they really should try to look in the mirror. Well, actually, they are looking in the mirror when they look at me. Every demonic name they've ever called me is actually who they are. None of these people resemble Christ in any way, shape, or form. None of them. None of them. There's no explanation for why all of this is happening other than they are demonic. They are demonic. They have nothing to teach me. That is not ego. That's fact. That's fact. They have nothing to teach me, which is why they are still watching my videos. I actually humbled myself twice already. Humbled myself this whole time because I, I saw that their egos were getting offended. And secondly, I had to humble myself to go to that fake Bob Larson. Who robbed $500 from me and didn't do a thing. $500 to cast out a demon. Supposedly with gifts that were freely given to him. It is a, an abomination before the Lord. It is an abomination before the Lord. All of these people. All of these people. And now they're, they're, they're going around calling themselves young guns and forerunners. This is all world stuff. All titles. All titles. And in the background, the, the little meme that they should be playing is Pagani in the background. I want to be called an apostle! I want to be called an apostle! Yeah, you see how big that light got over my head? Yeah, the anointing is here for sure. For sure. They have all known it. And they have all abused me. Knowing that they were abusing an anointed being. What do you have to say about that, people? They are deceptive, evil people. They're not men of God. And I've been saying this from day one. 